this is their Peruvian morning, which just, like I said, gets raves from people I know locally. It gets raves all over the internet. And I'm just anxious to try it. It's their bourbon barrel aged Russian Imperial Stout with somebody's coffee in it. Wow, well, that that last uh, bourbon barrel aged Central Waters beer kicked us pretty good. So yeah. this will probably do us well in that regard. There you go. There's your cup of joe for the day. Wow. Mm. It's very, I would say like, what would you say, dark, very deep copper maybe? Light, mm, copper, almost brown. a garnet. I mean, that's almost yeah. a garnet. If you get the right get the right angle with the lights in here, you almost get a garnet on it. Mm. Wow. But for, once again, it's fairly light for an Im Imperial Stout, right? <laughs> There's enough other things going on, or I'm guessing there are just. You some think the bourbon it. might have changed the color of it? A little no, bit? I don't think that. I think they just couldn't go way over the top on the you know, on the on the specialty malts with everything else that's in it. Hmm. The coffee in this is actually really, really inviting. Um, mm -hmm. It's you know it's a soft, very soft coffee. Um, really great oiliness in the mm -hmm. aroma, even. Hmm. And there is some stout character, you know, that's that's there as well. The coffee is the coffee is up front, but it's not overpowering. It's not a single note on it. There's other stuff. The right, wood right. is much more reserved than it was in the barley wine. But I'm but, still catching vanilla. Yeah, I'm getting some, uh, you know, some notes of vanilla, but not picking up the. You know, the identifiable bourbon charm. Yeah, in your face kind of bourbon that was going on with the other one. The alcohol is 100% there, though. Science oh, yeah. just went kaboom. Oh, yeah, definitely. The first thing that this one does to me is just go, it's so peaceful. Um, you know, the, the coffee in this, you know, I've had coffee beers where the coffee is just too much in your face, and especially for somebody who doesn't drink much of yeah, it or yeah. particularly like it. This, the coffee, is such a great addition to the really rich stout that's there. Um, it's a very, very rich stout. Um, and then they've got the, you know, the coffee to add some complexity, and then the, you know, the, the little bit of bourbon wood note, it's there, but there's so much going on with the stout and with the coffee that the bourbon is sort of, you know, not forgotten. I think we'd miss it if it wasn't there, but it's not It's not up front like it was with the barley wine. Yeah, I mean, for a uh, Russian Imperial Stout, this is pretty laid back in part, in, as far as the stout part of it goes. But as an overall beer, I think it's really interesting. I, and I like the roastiness. It, the coffee has a nice roasty quality, and also it's kind of almost a kind of nutty quality to it. So maybe that's part of the, partly the grain, maybe it's partly the... Yeah, there's, the coffee. I, I'll I'll go with the you know a little bit of malty nuttiness, but the other thing that I'm really liking is I have a couple more sips and start to get at some of the layers, and there are layers and layers and layers to this beer. The thing that always marks a great Russian Imperial Stout to me are the dark fruits, the plums mm -hmm. and the blackberries, and you know those types of things, and it's there. It's subtle. And it's a little bit hidden by the coffee, but it's there. And if you pay attention to it, there's some really neat um, fruitiness. And that's stuff that, you know, comes from the higher alcohol, you know, the higher fermentation. And usually the black patent. It's the black patent as it starts to interplay with some of the sweetness and some of the fermentation that uh, tends to generate some of those uh, dark fruit flavors and aromas. And they're all there. I like the balance in terms of the... You know, with it having a little bit of residual sweetness at this point in time, mm -hmm. and as that dries out, I think over time it's going to push the coffee a little bit too much to the forefront. And you say that because you think that the coffee flavor is not going to change very much, whereas the other beer right. flavors are going to change yeah. over time. Right, the beer is just going to dry out a little bit over mm -hmm. time for sure. And coffee's not, there's nothing to dry out in the coffee. It's just, you know, it it's, just is. It's the beans and the oil. All right, Jeremy. Cheers. Cheers. Here's to the Wisconsin Brewers.